Hello friends, Metapod here, and today we are trying out the Project Triangle Strategy debut demo. Um, this just came out last night. I watched the Nintendo Direct yesterday and they were like, it's going to be out right after the Direct. And so like, like two minutes after the Direct was over, I was on my Switch like, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? And I was also looking up uh, the price for Miitopia. It's going to be $50, so I'm definitely not buying that. $50 for Miitopia. Anyway, let's jump right into Project Triangle Strategy. I got myself a Dr. Pepper here. I'm all ready to go. There we go. We got some kind of icon. Square Enix. Art Dink. I feel like I've seen that before in another game. Unreal Engine. Square using their Unreal. They used uh, Unity for Saga Scarlet Grace. We got Cryware. Listening to the music. Pretty dramatic for this screen, <laughs> for what's being shown. But I mean, this is just a demo. They're showing off their music and showing off what graphics they already have, so. It'll be cooler when the uh, new game, load game, and options. Let's go to options, camera settings, camera. This is a 2D game. Well, I can see the camera moving around, so it's like a 3D game with 2D sprites. It's actually really nice looking. I actually thought it looked kind of meh from the preview on uh, Nintendo Direct, but this is actually really pretty. Okay, camera settings. Invert, vertical, oh yeah, I like to have dual inverted cameras. So it's a good thing I checked that volume, we'll set it all at 80%. I could probably turn the volume up on my uh, Recording, but I'm just gonna leave it as it is. Let's go try a new game. Thank you for your download This is a special pre-release version comprising chapters exerted from the middle of the game middle of the game <clears throat> As you'll be joining the story in progress You may find it difficult to fully grasp the events around happening around you However, we encourage you to enjoy the atmosphere of the game world battles have been ramped up in difficulty somewhat to allow you to fully experience the depth of the combat system in a limited number of stages. Experiment with different strategies to triumph over your foes. We hope you enjoy the game. So we're starting in the middle of the story and they actually made it harder for the demo. So that's really interesting. Bird logo again. <laughs> Loading, loading, now roboting. On the faraway continent of Norzelia, three mighty powers reigned. Ooh. It's voiced, but we have to press to go to the next text, it looks like. The kingdom of Glenbrook. Glenbrook. Through which runs the mighty Norzelia River, bringing flourishing trade. Okay, so Glenbrook has the river trade. The Grand Duchy of Esfrost. A land of ice and snow beneath which slumbers rich veins of iron. Ice, ice frost. It's an iron place. And in the desert, the holy state of Hyzat, home to the lake from which is harvested the salt essential to life. Okay, and so we learned from the trailer that there's a big war that these are like warring nations because of the rarity of salt and iron. With each nation controlling one vital resource, conflict between these three powers was all too common. What's the vital resource of Glenberg trade? Is that considered a resource? Skirmishes gave rise to fierce battles and before long, the realm was engulfed in a bloody <clears throat> conflict that would rage on for years. Many died, 
in what came to be known as the Salt Iron War. The Salt Iron War. Brought to their limits and facing their mutual demise, the three powers at last negotiated a truce. Oh. Peace came to Norzelia, but only briefly. Shortly after assuming power in Esfrost, Archduke Gustadolf launched a surprise Gustadolf. invasion of the neighboring kingdom of Glenbrook. Why, Gustadolf? We had peace at the last. The Esfrostian forces, under the command of the formidable General of Lora, easily overwhelmed Glenbrook's crown city. Before any could comprehend the meaning of what was happening, the once proud Whiteholm Castle had fallen. Learning of the attack, House Wolfort, highest of the three high houses of Glenbrook, rushes to the royal family's aid. Leading the charge is none other than young Sarah Noah, Sarah Noah. who has only just taken over the mantle of lordship from his father. Sarah Noah. At his side are Benedict, House Wolford's advisor and a veteran of the Salt Iron War. Roland, the younger prince of Glenbrook and Sarah Noah's childhood friend. And Frederica, his betrothed, who hails from the very duchy they now call foe. Oh, wow. Forbidden romance. So I appreciate uh, Benedict. He's got a beard. Pretty cool. These things look like they were drawn in pencils. Um, and then colored on a computer, which is cool. I used to do that. Um, or maybe they used a simulated pencil on a computer. But I wish he had a mustache. I'm not a huge fan of the chin straps, but the, the thickness here compared to everywhere else makes it a little better. Plus, he's got glasses. He's a cool guy. Um, Sarah Noah looks pretty cool for your typical main character dude. Um, Roland is, looks kind of generic. And uh, Frederica is really cute. A new war is kindling. Fanned by the unwavering convictions held by the rulers of these lands. And though they may not yet know it, Serenoa and his comrades are heading straight into the pyre. Into the pyre! I'm falling! Well, what are those? I like Frost's board game pieces. forces have breached the once proud walls of Whitehall, and now overrun its majestic halls leaving only death and destruction in their wake. Like bloodthirsty beasts, they search, eager to carry out Archduke Gustadolf's orders to kill any member of the royal family on sight. Why, Gustadolf? With the very future of the kingdom hanging in the balance, Sarah Noah hurries to the throne room as fast as his legs can carry him. Go, Sarah Noah. Chapter 6, Remember Me. So does the war start in the middle of the game? Because that sounded like an introduction to what would be the beginning of a game, honestly. So I guess, spoilers, now we know Gustadolf is going to do all this stuff. Thanks a lot, Squeenix. The Night of Icefrost's Invasion. Yes, they do, Cordelia. They will do no such thing, my princess. Not so long as I draw breath. Cease the vainglorious theatrics. The city is mine now, and not a soul loyal to his grace still lives. You are all that remains. Not even the Dawn Spear can hold the triumph in such arms. Wait, not a soul loyal to his grace still lives? Did they kill all the citizens? Folly, Gustadolf. What madness has possessed you? Really, Gustadolf. Is this how you would take revenge for what befell your father? What I really wish they had is character portraits. I really liked the pencil artwork for the characters that they were showing um, for like Sarah Noah and them and Gustadolf and uh, everybody. They were really nice. 
I want to see those when they're talking. Right now, you just see the little sprites. I like to see what the characters look like more than just the little sprites. I like the little sprites for battle and for the cutscenes and everything. They're really nice looking. Um, I like the way they look all 3D. It kind of reminds me of Octopath. Um, 2D sprites in the 3D world. It looks very pretty, but when characters are talking, I like to see high resolution picture of them. Nothing so petty as that, Ragnar. The war and all its atrocities should remain buried in the past. Then what drives you to commit new ones? To tear down the future we labored so long to achieve. Okay, Franny. <laughs> Your voice is silly. Do you think High Sant will stand idly by while Glenbrook burns? How Glenbrook burns? I shudder to think what ends you hope to achieve by such vile means. <laughs> you always did lack imagination. However, not even I foresaw the opportunity this foolish partnership would afford me. As for Heisand, she shall meet the same fate as your beloved kingdom before long. Why, Gustadolf, why? Whatever your aims may be, you'll never... But Serna. Father, are you hurt? Roland? Roland? Roland, Roland, Roland. <laughs> Brother? You imbecile. Why do you return? Be grateful to see me for once. I wasn't about to leave you to these wolves. You stone-headed brat. Franny is annoying. If it isn't my dear oh, I just noticed the dead people on the ground. Stand down at once. On the honor of House Walford, we shall not let the royal family come to harm. So you're the young one. Well. You have courage, if not much sense. I'll give you that. Brother, what is the meaning of this? Oh! They're brother and sister! I am sorry for forcing this unpleasant scene upon you, Frederick. I had to take action soon and anticipate. I when they described her before I just thought she was from that country. I didn't realize that she was Gustadolf's sister. Need me a drink after that one. <laughs> action. What do you listen well? I Gustadolf Esfrost do hereby condemn the King of Glenbrook and his agents for their treacherous deeds. Scheming to claim the riches of the Grand Norzellian Mines their own, they slaughtered my dear cousin Dragan in cold blood. For this most heinous crime, and for shattering the trust between our nations out of malice, I declare their punishment must be swift and final. So, this is probably wrong, what he's saying, but even if this did happen, over killing one person, he's gonna come kill like all the people and take over the whole country? So this is the lie you would weave. What mummery is this? Dragon was killed by... What mummery is this? I know his voice is not very good either. Which is bad because he's the protagonist. Silence, my lord. Oh, so maybe we're going to find out in the first five chapters of the game what happened to Dragon. Benedict? I commend you for delivering the traitorous Prince Roland to me. He too must answer for his crimes. Hand him over, and House Wolfort may yet see itself through this unscathed. You are my dear sister's husband to be. Bend the knee, and no harm shall befall you. That's generous. I will do no such thing. We won't be party to your treachery. We won't be party to your treachery. <laughs> Sarah, no, why? You're the main character and you have like the worst voice out of all the characters. Your father was ever a thorn in my side. You seem intent on repeating that history. However, I fear you will not live long enough to accomplish it. General of Laura, kill them all. Uh. Yes, my lord. Oh, she got a big old sword. 
stop! I won't let you. Franny, what are you gonna do? Ah! Oh! They were fast. Brother! No! Oh gosh, the blood came out. It's like sparkly. Ew! Sparkly, but I don't like it. So Maxwell, leave me. Take Roland to safety. Now, why did the girl just like scream like, "Oh, oh"? I mean, I guess that is her like brother or whatever. But like the way she screamed is like she's just now seeing someone get killed for the first time, and there are dead people all over the ground back there. Yes, my lord. My prince, with me. Whoa, he went fast. I can't leave them. Step aside, Sir Maxwell. My lord, we must flee at once. But his grace. Roland. Lord Walford. There is no saving me. The future of Glenbrook lies in your hands. Okay, if we have to flee now, why did we come here in the first place? Father. My prince, follow us. But I... Damn it all. Damn it all. After them. You would once again see Dorzelia bathed in blood, Gustavov? Truly, you are lost. This land has long been lost, Regna, but it need be no longer. Dun dun dun. This is where Sir Maxwell would have us wait. He is readying the boat for our escape as we speak. They had naval units on both sides of the river. A wise decision. No doubt the river is our only hope of getting out of the city alive. The streets are overrun with as frosty soldiers. Our foe no doubt searches for us on the other side of this very gate. I think I recognize Benedict's voice. Then we wait here and pray for Sir Maxwell's swift return. Ta -ta. Father, Freddy, Cordelia. And what is she doing with us? She's with the enemy. No, she's not, Hewett. What are you doing with us? You have a dumb name. What? No, I, I had no idea. Lies. It was your own brother that attacked the city. If I had any idea he was planning such atrocities, I would have stopped him. He's... I know not what's possessed him. My lady speaks the truth. We are as shocked and torn by this turn of events as you. Who's Gila? Enough, Hewitt. We can't be clawing at each other's throats with the S-Frosty army looking to hunt us down like dogs. My emotions got the better of me for a moment. Forgive me. I take it back. Hewett's kind of a cool name. Frederica's Hewitt my favorite so far. Evil, my lady. Her fellow members of the King's Guard were slain before her eyes. For now, let us focus on the present. Prince Roland's safety and escape are our main concerns. Of course. Well, they uh, settled that pretty, pretty calmly. These are trying times, but we mustn't let emotions cloud our judgment. Benedict, you stopped me from speaking the truth of Dragon's death. To what end? Gustadolf would frame Glenbrook for Lord Dragan's murder and claim it as pretext for his invasion. <coughs> so what? Oh, this is the stuff we're not gonna understand because we're thrown in the middle of the story. Our heads would already be on pikes. It would seem he still intends to put them there. Because you spat in the face of his demands. What we know could expose his claims as the treacherous lies they are. If it came to light that Gustadolf orchestrated his own cousin's murder, no one would dare stand by his side. Indeed. However, words have little substance on their own. Especially when weighed against the power and influence the Archduke commands. Your truth 
would be taken as the pathetic ramblings of a desperate man. Once again, your wisdom makes me feel the fool. Your wisdom makes me feel the fool. No, we are all fumbling through these dark times. You I like Benedict's voice. Acted as the Lord of House Wolfort, and did so admirably. And yet my actions have put everyone in danger. Father would have known better. Let us look forward, my lord. I thought he was going to punch him or something. He moved so fast. <laughs> there are truths yet cloaked in the shadows. We must survive and see them brought to light. For these truths shall be the weapons by which we lay as frost low. Thank you, Benedict. I promise to do all in my power to see us through this safely, every last one of us. I know you will, my lord. Let us await Sir Maxwell's arrival. Did they not chase us? Because we've been here for a really long time. Maybe they didn't consider us significant enough to chase? story scenes and battles there will be an exploration phase in this phase you may move freely about areas gather information for the people around you obtain items through your mechanisms and terrain features that may serve you in battle and more to end the exploration phase and progress for the story press the l button okay my objective is to check on everyone we can't go out that way he looks like the important one so let's talk to everyone else first I hear footsteps in the distance. Just make come under siege. Still a prisoner's safest destination. Prince Roland's only refuge. Wait, okay, I didn't read that. Though the Duchy's du Duchy's army I don't like that word duchy. <laughs> Though the Duchy's aims remain unclear, it stands to reason that our own demence will soon come under siege. Oh, okay, I guess I did read it. Still at present, it is our safest destination and Prince Roland's only refuge. Oh, we're going to the duchy. Yeah, what, what grudge does he have against Glenbrook? On his own sister's wedding day. Oh, so it was our wedding day. New Age of Harmony. Franny, father, what has happened? Yeah, because that would be, um, I don't know the full importance of Saranoa yet, but like, he's from, uh, Glenbrook, and then he's marrying this, like, uh, what is she, like, princess? Duchess? Benedict was right behind these stories. There might be dozens of those bastards just clamoring to take our heads. Guess we've nothing to do till Sir Maxwell comes calling with our boat. See, I want to see what he looks like. This, I really need portrait, character portraits. Because his little sprite looks cool, but I don't really get a good idea of what he looks like. I mean, it doesn't have to be huge and cover the whole screen. Just like a little a little picture up next to their name or something would be nice. But I want to see, I want to see a picture of their face at least. I would like a, you know, whole half body shot that takes up the whole screen but that's just me not everybody likes that kind of thing <laughs> you know very visual novel-esque okay let's talk to this guy prince Roland, safe at a time like this oh huet was the last one. Oh, we have to choose a thing now um It, from the trailer, they made it sound like your choices are going to be extremely important to the story. But whenever a game has choices, I feel like every trailer says that. So, uh, who knows? But um, it makes it sound like your gameplay experience will actually be quite different. Depending on uh, what you choose. And uh, my face is covering up a little this right here. It says, flee by yourself if you must. We need your blade, let us fight together, or Prince Roland must survive even if we do not. I don't like that sacrificial stuff. 
I like Huet. I want to say we need your blade. Let us fight together. You know, be friends with Huet. But I kind of want to grant her the ability to flee if she wants to. I think I'll pick the second one. The boat should arrive soon enough. In the meantime, there's only one thing we can and must do. In Norzelia, three major guiding convictions for like utility, morality, and liberty. Oh. These parameters will not be reflected visually. Well, yeah, it says invisible parameters. <laughs> okay, so utility, morality, and liberty. We probably chose, I don't know. I feel like Liberty would be the choice telling her to flee if she must. Or maybe that would be morality. I don't know, that's kind of, who knows? Your decisions will shape Serenoa's convictions as well as influence which companions may choose to join his cause. Cool. So that probably made Huet. So we probably could have made it so Huet didn't join, depending on what we said there. Um, so I've talked to everyone. I've done my objective, I guess. I don't see anything else we can do, so let's press L button. Curses! Where is the boat? No, we have to say it like Serenote. Curses! Where is the boat? Okay, where's the boat? <laughs> My nose is itchy. Yeah, see, they got troops on the water. Okay, so I can move this little uh, crosshairs thing around. It looks like I can go there. So there's Ace Frost, here's Glenbrook, and then over here's the other place, right? Yeah, Hezante. I don't remember how they pronounce that. So, main story with the Pursuers clothing in Serenos, Threaten You pulls, puts their faith in Sir Max, what's made region for escape? Okay, and then what's this? A raven arrives at the Fox Mess carrying to Lord Lentral, dire tidings from the Crown City. Well, let's see what this does. Looks like it's just like a cutscene we can see. It kind of reminds me of Saga Frontier 2. Choosing, like, what event you want to see next. Now, see... My lord, please reconsider. This guy looks like he would be really cool looking if we had a character portrait for him. As Frost's numbers are overwhelming, we would only be sending our men to their doom. I will not stand idly by as the capital burns! His voice is kind of funny though, Landry, Landra. Move, you fool! I'll go by myself if I must. Move, you fool! Make that bastard Gustatov remember how true my aim is. It's too late, my lord. Whiteholm has fallen, and the capital has been taken. Damn it all. Does his grace and the royal family still live? There is no news, my lord. Heavens be good. A dream of peace so soon dashed asunder, and under my watch. Your grace, pray live long enough that I might atone for my failure in person. My lord, I fear there are other concerns. The Asfrosti army may not stop at the capital. <coughs> yes, the three great houses might still unite against them. I like Landroy. We must prepare for the worst. Raise the alarm. It's time to muster our defenses. Muster our defenses. I remember once I used the word muster, and my friend was like, what's muster? I never heard that word. And I was like, you know, muster, like muster courage. And he's like, muster. Like, he was like, so like, like, it wasn't just shocked. He was like, annoyed that I used the word muster or something. 
<laughs> it was weird. House Fox will not surrender without a fight. Landry Fox. Loading time. You don't have to go home, but you can play the game. Okay, so I don't think there's any more things like that. What's that little thing? Oh, that's just the Ice Frost logo thing. All right, let's go have a battle. I'm a little scared because they said it's going to be hard and I'm not really that good at these kind of uh, tactical RPGs. My prince, I'm sorry to have kept you waiting. I've managed to procure a boat for our escape. It should arrive anon. Anon. Thank you so Maxwell. Would that I could have done more. You did well to stand against Gustadolf. Your father would have been proud to see it. We didn't stand against Gustadolf. We, like, talked to him for two seconds and ran away. Let's save the pleasantries until we're through the gate, huh? Everyone ready? I like Arador. He looks like he... I want to get to portrait. We are. Open the gates, Arador. Whatever you say, my lord. Here's hoping we can make it through without those bastards on the shore noticing Wait, is the boat here? Over there. Uh, there's too many of them. They were just we standing there. Back. Where's the boat? I'm so confused. <laughs> they say we need to turn back, but I think we're gonna fight them. But we close the gate. <laughs> there's nowhere to run. Damn it! They shut us in. Oh, they closed the gate. Is this it? If this is where I fall, I'm taking these S frosty bastards with me. Don't be so quick to throw your life away, my prince. Yes, we haven't lost hope yet. The boat will arrive shortly. We only need to fend them off until then. I like the timbre of Serenoa's voice. Like, the sound of it sounds nice, but <laughs> the acting is not very good. I fail to see why not. If you lend us your sword, that is. As if I would do aught else. As if I would do aught else. I like the word aught. Form around the prince. Protect him. The prince is on the bridge. Seize him. Oh no! Are they coming from the other direction too? They pour from the castle like rats. I shall defend the rear. Because rats pour from castles. So it's just Maxwell on the rear. Loading. <laughs> oh, here we go. Two keys to victory in battle in this game are positioning and initiative. Positioning and terrain can be used to your advantage. Attacks from behind your foe or from high ground will deal greater damage. Okay. The order in which units take action is determined by their speed attribute. Upcoming turn order is displayed an indicator at the bottom of the screen. Okay, I can see that. <coughs> Keep a careful eye on turn order and review your allies' abilities when deciding how to deploy and advance your units. Okay. So, yeah. Basic strategy RPG stuff. Victory conditions. Secure the drawbridge. Drawbridge. Defeat conditions allow Roland to fall. So we we don't want Roland to die at all, but everyone else is okay. <laughs> Just not Roland. I mean, if everyone dies, then Roland's gonna die. But we need to save Roland more importantly than anyone else. The weather is sunrise and the wind is breezy. Oh man, I wonder if that stuff's gonna make a difference. It's like golf. Okay, unit placement. Encampment, proceed to the war room and make ready for the battle. Inventory, tutorial, system. 
let's see what's in the system settings. Oh, save. Let's save the game, sure. Um, let's see what kind of options we got. Oh, it's just the regular options. Okay, I don't want to look at the tutorial. We're just going to go for it. Inventory. We got two large HP recovery pellets, three fire stones, and then three rings that are equipped by people. Oh, I wonder if we, like, only equip rings? There's also, like, a fourth and fifth one. But we can't reach those. Okay, encampment. Oh, it's gonna load. <laughs> okay, that didn't take that long. In your camp, you can make ready for battle. How are we even able to get to a camp? We're trapped on a bridge between <laughs> people on both sides. So we got a trade post, quick link. Ooh. Movement allies turn to directly after your own, that's cool. Uh, okay. Portly merchant. One Kamaha Lionel is procured for you. Only the finest words from near and far. Look, the merchant has a cool sprite. <laughs> I want to see a character portrait for him. Nothing more to lend tend to your weapons, but I fear I haven't quite finished my training. Okay, so he's, we're going to be able to temper weapons here. Watch your whistle. Okay, so she's maybe gonna give us side quests or something. Well, that was a little strange being able to go to a camp when we're here. Okay, let's look at our unit placement. We got air to oh look at his picture down there. Oh we need big character portraits in this game. We need them. That's way too tiny for me to ogle. Ooh, who's that girl next to him? That's Gila. She's cute. Frederica Benedict. This one not have a name. Just 19. Maxwell. Maxwell's got a mask. Quarantine. Where's uh Roland? Oh, he's up in the front. Let's set him off or kinda off to the side. So he's more protected. I don't want him in the front front. So this person just doesn't have a name. There's Huet. She's like riding a bird. Arador. Okay, I think we're good there. How do we start? Oh, begin battle. That's how. Battle begins. The gate to the drawbridge is shut tight. No. You must find a way to open it, and quickly. There should be a mechanism nearby. Leave our pursuers to me. Open the gate, whatever it takes. Okay, so we need to get over there. Pull the lever or whatever right now. Right now. When moving a friendly unit, some squares will be colored purple. This means the squares within enemy attack range. Oh, that's so nice. If an enemy is able to f 
attack a friendly unit next turn a red line connecting with them will appear take care to move forward more units out of harm way okay so oh that's so convenient so you don't have to go check them and see like who's able to attack who and like constantly recheck them I want to see who's like up there there we go we got an archer up there is there one up here too no okay so let's take are we Saranoa right now who are we are we Anna why does it just constantly say Anna the spy in the bottom I think we're Anna Oh, so we can choose to use the Iron Dagger or take cover. We'll become invisible for two turns. Well, let's move up here and do that. Uh, why'd she get to attack twice? Uh, X is to end turn. Then we choose which way she faces. Who? That was a lot to take one turn. <laughs> For victory. Well, how did they discover her so easily? He attack through her. It doesn't look like it's gonna hit her. Cool. The hunt is on. Hewitt. Let's see, if you're there, like everyone ever can hit you. Only two of them can hit her from there. Oh, she has arrows! Okay. Um, she can still get hit by two people from there. But there's other people around her. Let's go ahead. Deal physical damage to... Okay, this one's power is only 39, though. I have a chance to blind them for three turns. That sounds cool, though. Let's try that one. Bam! Yeah, he got blinded. Okay, that's good, because he's going to hit Anna. But now he can't. And he can't hit Roland either, because he's blind. Oof. Is no mercy on the okay, Benedict, what can you do? Cane sword, bark. Raise an ally's physical defense and magic defense for three turns. Raging beast, raise an ally's strength and magic attack for three turns. Who's coming up next? Oh, it's um, Maxwell, but he's way back there. Let's boost up Erdor because he's hot. We'll get him yet. Um. Defeat is not an option. Saranoa, you need to get up to where you can reach people, but... How do we get the little diamonds to be able to do this? The physical damage and damage will increase proportionally if you launch the attack from higher ground. Okay. Hawk dive, I get it. I keep having to look to see which button's X, even though I know what button is X. <laughs> Let me heal your wounds. She 
She's a physician. Okay, so she's our healer. She can hit with a rod and she can cure wounds from far away. Let's... Can she reach... Oh, that's an item. She can use the Firestone to hurt people. She's not in danger here. Let's bring her right up behind, uh, what's her name? That's Gila, that's Huet. Yeah, I don't think anyone's gonna get her from over there, but. I've been waiting for this. Oh, and he attacks with a shield. Look at him. He's got a mustache. And he's got a long face and a big chin and a big nose. I love him. Okay. Long live. Who's that? <laughs> I have no idea who that is. Somebody must have changed their name. Okay. So, and he attacks with a shield, which is so cool. I love shield attacking. Bam! Critical. Oh! They did like a little combo attack! Time for some research. Time for some research. I probably should have checked the uh You can create an obstacle? Wow. We'll just bring him up to be a little closer. I will end this. Conjurer. Counter attack. Deal physical damage to a single foe. Okay, so we can give counter attack ability. Oh, we probably can't reach him. Okay, well she's not probably not gonna get hit by him anyway. We're gonna give it not to Anna. Yes, to Anna. Yeah, we're gonna give Anna the ability to counterattack. Time to work. Allow me. Have another curse. Oh, that is nice. I like that, and she gets to act again. Let's do it again. Let's do it again. They'll probably try to come up from behind her. Oh well. They need a bag of to claim it. We out of tier and try at the conclusion of Battle of Triumph over your Okay. My turn. I don't see the loot. Oh, I see it. Okay, Roland. I don't want to put Roland in all that danger, but it would be nice if we put him there and then hit both of them with the thing. But I think I'm going to leave him here and use his lance attack again on this guy. The hunt is on. Huet. What can you do again? Oh yeah, you have a bow. Come over here and get this item. And then use the bow. Let's start taking out this guy, because this guy's blind, so he's not as much of a threat. And this has a better accuracy to hit him anyway. Probably because he's turned away from her. Yeah. Nice, we got him. Oh man, he went around behind Roland. Let us pry out <laughs> Crap. Benedict, what can you do again? Oh, you can bulwark. Okay, we need to move up here, which is strangely not in anyone's way, and Bulwark. 
Roland. Ready for more. Ready for more. No, you're not. Okay, everyone's like clumped up now. Oh, finally we get to move Maxwell around. Oh, he moves on his own. He's like a... Whoa! What have we here? From where shall we strike? Whoa! That hit the mark. Well, these guys over there get turns. Wait, why is she facing, like, off to the side like that? No! <laughs> it's the prince! Seize him! <laughs> Quickly now, before more arrive. Shall we begin? Why are they here? Okay, so Gila got hurt. Oh, somehow. Oh! Okay, so she can cure from afar. I had, like, accidentally changed pages on her before. She'll cure herself for now. Um, I probably should move her. I'll take you on. He needs to go shield bash somebody, but should he take on the back people? Cause there's nobody really fighting them right now except Maxwell. Maxwell can probably handle them all. Let's move him up here. Okay, he's not close enough to provoke them or ram anybody, so we'll just put him there and have him wait for them to hit him. I like how they move out of the way for him. And uh, can you do ranged attacks? Or is that take cover? No, you can just take cover. Go over here and take cover. Cool, she leveled up. Oh, she gets to act again. I'm like, what is going on? I want to do it there. So I need to move up two spaces. He's going to be in a lot of danger. My turn. Maybe we should bring... Yeah, we just need to protect Roland. So let's bring him back here. But then everyone's going to attack him. Oh, there's a guy like right here. Oh man, all four of them can get him from there. Only two of them can get him from here. Two of them can get him from here. Two of them can get him from here. I guess we'll just go here and attack from the back. Oh, that's cool. Not really useful right now, but it's cool. Oh, he's about dead. We don't need to waste that on him. When choosing action, I can't appear over any enemies that are particularly susceptible to it. Oh, that's cool. Are guaranteed to score a critical hit. Wow. So if they sandwich them like that, oh, that's cool. Time to take flight. Time to take flight. Okay, let's. Oh yeah, we can do the blind again. Let's try that. So we need to move up. 
One, two, three, and one, two. We need to move a lot to be able to hit this guy. She's going to be pretty vulnerable there, but I think she'll be okay. And I want to do the blinding arrow. Blindness. Let me show you what I've learned. And I guess we'll just fight these guys with magic back here. Hello, my love. He waved at me through the door. <laughs> Um, she doesn't have enough things for Scorch, though. Let's... We'll have her wait here. Oh, crap. No! Benedict's full work of. Just what I need. Um. On my honor as the dawn speed. That went well. Have another! Ah! Maxwell almost took that guy out on his own. Well, with the help of, uh. Our buddy here. Oh no, they get to do that too! I didn't even think of that. Crap. But my research. No. <laughs> my research. <sighs> From where shall we strike? Yes! <laughs> the blindness helped. Time to work. Okay, Anna is strong. Let's have Anna come over here. Ooh, a chance to put them to sleep, but this iron dagger attack is stronger. So let's do this and then we'll get that double attack on him. And she gets to attack twice, so we get to do that two times. Too slow. Nice. Oh, crap. I'm going to put her this way in case the archer tries to shoot her. For victory. Ah. Oh. That looks like it could have been cool. Is there somewhere he can utilize that back here? No. If he could stand here where Maxwell is, he could slash through these three guys, or two guys, those three spaces. Let's go here and let's lance him. I'm guessing that they, oh cool. Didn't know that would work. I shirk from no danger. I didn't know if they would like chase him or not. missed shall we begin okay she needs to oh no he died <laughs> she can't heal him because he's dead um she'll go heal Roland then oh my gosh everyone can reach her okay only two of them can reach her from there sorry to worry you she gets 20 experience from doing that. I've been waiting for this. Okay. I could try to take that guy out. Or I can take out that guy from the side and get the dual attack with Anna. I'm gonna go over here. Knock them back five squares. 
we're going to kite shield him. And I think this should take him out. Okay, yeah, that was better. And then we'll make him face the archer too. I shan't hold that. Oh my gosh. Why are you running away? <laughs> now you're just gonna leave Frederica? <laughs> Out in the open there? But oh, she's next, so that's okay. Let's see. Um, all he can do is bulwark. He'll bulwark Frederica. I like how you can act and then move. Like, that's such a frustrating thing when you can't do that in these kind of games. Okay, let's Scorch here. Then we'll move you to safety as well. I can't get on the other side of him. We'll just get behind him. Oh, we can open the gate from here. I kind of want to kill this guy first, though. Well, let's go here, open gate, and see if it takes up our turn. The gate is open. It's open. Go. <laughs> Man. Don't let them escape. I thought about waiting. <laughs> <laughs> no matter how many come, our blade. They've overrun the bridge already. Very well. We can't <sighs> through. Quietuses? What are quietuses? Do not use up a turn and can be triggered instantaneously. A single quietus can be used only once in a given battle. What is it, though? And she should get to attack again. Nice. Allow me. Too slow. Okay, so that worked out in the end. Oh, I should have faced her towards the archer. Impossible. Impossible. Oh. We'll keep rolling back here. They'll still get turns. Ugh, they'll get two turns before he has a chance to get healed. We're just going to put him in a safe place. Here I come. Okay, cool. They're just gonna chill out there. I shall protect you. It ends here. I shall do what I can. Okay, she needs to heal. Well, she might need to heal Saranoa. Yeah. My thanks. You won't beat me. Erdor. Can he climb? Can they climb the ladders? Oh, they can! Away! I love the battle. I love the battle. There's nothing like slamming a long silver bullet into a well greased chamber. I said that wrong, but I love to reload during battle. There is no Okay, um... Benedict, you're, like, kind of pointless at this point. Come back here and cane sword him, and then it'll make 
this dude, uh, Maxwell, do his attack, and that should be able to take you out. That seemed well met. Yeah. My knowledge grows deeper. Cool, I like Benedict. Um, Maxwell's cool too. It's a shame he's just a guest character. Okay, let's grab the item. Actually, we'll grab it with someone else later. She can go ahead and move up here. So if she takes cover again instead of ending the turn, she gets another 20 experience. Really, she learns surmount, whatever that is. Defeat is not an option. Allow me. Like how the arrow, it's like right in front of him, but the arrow still goes, woo! <laughs> um, Roland, you just stay back here, buddy. Here I come. Can she shoot like all the way up there? No. Are you kidding me? <sighs> we just need to get everyone over to the bridge, I think. I don't think we need to like defeat all these things because I think they're gonna keep coming. I shall protect you. Let us pry out their weakness. Oh. I want to see her stats. Oh, okay. She says 61 HP. Cerno has 90 HP, so let's put her over here. Oh, but she can get hit by that guy, too. Man, she can get attacked no matter where she goes, and Cerno is not going to get a turn until... Okay, so those are those two guys. So Cerno will get a turn. Okay, let's put her here. Here. 15 years. Wow, so she can like jump. Okay, let's try to put him to sleep. Yes! <laughs> we did it. Act again now. Will this wake him up? I think it did wake him up. I don't know which way to face her. It was face this way. Let's let Maxwell handle these guys by himself because he's strong. <laughs> okay, then we'll put him in here. And hopefully, with Anna, he'll be able to take him out. No! He did level up, though. I wish there was a little level up fanfare. Maybe that's something they'll add when they uh, keep working on the game. Just like a little da 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 da. You know, it doesn't need to be much. I don't want it to be much, actually. My turn. OK, 
Okay, they might come after him, but that's okay. The hunt is on. We'll put her beside him, so if they do try to come after him, then it's no big deal. Actually, maybe she can take him out with the bow. 86% accuracy. What's insult to injury mean? Hewitt learns shadow stitching arrow. That sounds like uh, shadow so from. Let me show you what I've learned. Um, that my favorite game <laughs> from Saga series. Okay, let's. She can't really do anything. I feel bad for the. Maybe let's. Let her come over and fight with them. Oh gosh! <laughs> they did a lot of damage to Anna. Yeah, you need to get out of here, Anna. Man, that giving her 20 experience is crazy. There is no mercy on the battlefield. <laughs> Benedict has lots of HP. We can uh, let him get over here and he can bulwark himself. And then that guy did backdiving, and there's so much going on. Roland! Oh! Oh! I think I can do it. Let's stand here and use Rush. Did you see that? <laughs> Allow me. Nice, that was cool. Immobilize them for two turns. Okay, but we just want to use a regular arrow. Kill that guy. <sighs> or we could do a lot of damage to this guy. Let's kill this guy. I'd rather have fewer guys damaging us. Cool heads shall prevail. Okay, move her to a safe space and use cure. Do we have like we don't have MP, that's really nice. I don't really like MP systems too much. So let's cure the wounds of Anna, who desperately needs it. <laughs> With clear eyes, I move forward. She learned Circle of Healing. I'll take you on! We'll slowly take out this guy up here. Or this gal. We don't know. Oh, it looks like a guy. I shall protect you. But we can't assume. That went well. Follow my lead. <laughs> Missed. <laughs> okay, Anna is healthier now, so she can come up here. And iron dagger this guy twice. She lost her cover. She gets to act again. She only gets five experience for attacking. She should just take cover every turn and like level up to a million. I'm a fool. 
Oof. I fight for peace. Oh, she can't do Scorch. So it looks like you get a uh, diamond every turn. And so some moves need to charge up, kind of like Temtem. And yeah, so we can only do Flame Shield here. Let's go ahead and start retreating her, because we need everybody to get over to the other bridge anyway. We'll attack him with the cane sword. <laughs> then we'll run away. Oh, cool. We can do <laughs> rush again. Did you see that? You've left yourself open. You've left yourself open. Okay. Um. Whew. <laughs> nice. Okay, we took out that guy. Um, she can still move. She can go pick up the item. <laughs> she, like, flies. Wait, now we have Serenoa's turn. Let's see if we can delay this guy. Oh, wait. Oh, the delayed strike's actually stronger than our regular strike. I should have been doing this the whole time. Who needs healing the most? Huet, Anna, Serna. <laughs> I don't think I can. Oh, I can hit him with the circle of healing. The tides are turning. <laughs> We can move him down here. <laughs> I like the little climbing animation. Very nice. I actually... She's going to get two turns, so I want to attack her from the front. Oh, he only has five HP. <clears throat> attack him from the front so I get the retaliation blow. Oh! We won because we defeated everybody. We got kudos, 34 of them. We got pallets, coins. We got loading. The boat arrives. Come with speed. Wait, it's like daytime now. It was like night. <laughs> this boat took a long time to get here. Will you leave your brother unavenged? You. Oh, she's the. Uh... Leave this place. The Archduke will be content with your father's head. She's the leader of the. Archduke's army, I think, if I remember correctly. Never. S. Ross will answer for its crimes today. Roland, we spent all this time saving you, and now you're gonna go rushing off to fight this like great warrior lady. I guess you do Your have Highness. strength in numbers. Okay, no, you don't. A go shame. on the freaking boat. You might have lived a long life. So long as I stand, you'll do him no harm. Oh, is Maxwell gonna save us? Maxwell, my prince, you are responsible for more than just your own life now. You are a leader, and 
must be the beacon others look to when the night is darkest. He's like punched My friends him. friends of House Wolfort, I leave Prince Roland in your care. He like knocked him out. Let me go! What did he do? Release him to me, and there may be mercy for you yet. <clears throat> so Maxwell's gonna try and hold off all these things. So Maxwell's pretty much sacrificing himself to save Roland and everyone else. Oh, the bridge went up. Where's our boat? Tis you who should be seeking mercy. Go, Maxwell. Must you do this? Very well. <laughs> That's cool. Oh. We're on a boat. Oh, so he underestimated her. Only a fool shows what they can do when the stakes are so trifling. I could not have said it better myself. Oh, so Maxwell's got tricks up his sleeve too. Bam, bam, bam. Oh, wow. Oh, whoa. <gasps> whoa, he took all those guys out on his own. There's no way Aflora is gonna die here. Well, I guess this is chapter six. How do you still stand? Cause you she's were badass. Dawn's fiercest warrior, Dawn Spear. But today your sun sets, and a new age begins. Whoa, Aflora, you don't have to do this. Maybe he's just floating in the water. No, this is mask in his hat. And blood. I don't like the blood. It's sparkly. And now we load. And so it was that the once proud kingdom of Glenbrook did fall. Oh. As Frost seized control of the crown city, threatening to bring the surrounding domains under its iron yoke. Domains. Now the Archduke's army marches upon House Walford's stronghold, where Prince Roland is being sheltered by his loyal friends and allies. Uh, the Archduke's army marches upon Okay, so we're at Walford's stronghold, protecting Prince Roland, and the Archduke's coming after us. I thought that Afford said that he would be content with his father's head. I guess not. Or in chapter 7 already. I wonder if each battle is a chapter or what. Do we have any green things we can do? No. Well, that's it. That's where I'm going to stop today. Um, if you want to see the full demo, go grab it on Nintendo Switch. If you don't have a Nintendo Switch, go grab a Nintendo Switch. They are awesome. You got this. You got Octopath Traveler. You got Saga Scarlet Grace. Uh, soon you're going to have Saga Frontier remastered. Uh, I think that Bravely Default or Bravely Second or one of those is going to be on here. Legend of Mana. Um, you got lots of cool RPGs to play. Pokemon Sword and Shield. Um, if you like other games, you got cool party games, Smash Brothers, 
Mario Kart 8. It's all kinds of cool stuff. Um, I love my Switch. You will love it too. And uh, this game seems awesome. I can't wait to see what they're going to do with it. I hope they add character portraits and they hope they switch out Saranoi's voice actor with someone else. <laughs> no, that's mean. That's a, that's a bit it's a bit harsh to Saranoi's voice actor. I'm sorry, Saranoi's voice actor. But um, you could do better. Oh, wait, I'm looking at the TV like I'm talking to the TV. But you guys are over here today. You could do better. Keep up the work and practice hard. And uh, you will surely continue to improve. And uh, yeah, that's it for my uh, triangle. What is this called? Triangle? I always want to call it something that it's not. Triangle strategy. Project Triangle Strategy debut demo. Definitely looks really cool. I'm going to play the rest on my own. You guys go get it. Tell me what it's like. Uh, maybe we'll see different uh, versions of the story based on choices. They probably should show that off. Uh, I might restart and uh, pick different things for when we're talking to Huet. It was Huet that we were talking to, right? Or was it Anna? Or who was it? <laughs> <laughs> Who was it that we were talking to that we could pick the three different things? I don't even remember at this point. I think it was Hewitt. <laughs> I don't know. I can't remember at all. And pick one of the different things and see what they say. And maybe if they don't join our team, that would be interesting. Um, but yeah. Triangle Strategy. Looks like a pretty promising game. Um, I really like the mechanics where you can hit each other from behind, like, if you sandwich somebody, you get the double hits on them, that's really cool. Adds this fun layer of strategy. You saw we froze the ground. Uh, in the trailer, they made it sound like you're going to be able to do stuff with that, like freeze the ground and then electrocute it or something like that, or burn the ground and just do stuff like that. Um, yeah. That's all I got to say. I guess I'm so bad at the closings, but uh, there we go. I hope you guys all have a good one, and I will see you later. Bye-bye.